Hello viewers, this is the third and the final part of the topic on Oracle Real Application Testing or shortly RAT. In this tutorial, we are going to extract the AWR comparison reports in the target database to make our performance analysis. In the part one of this topic, we captured the workload from our source database named CatDB and in the second part, we transferred the captured workload to the target database and replayed it. If you have not watched the first and the second part, I suggest you watch them first for a better understanding of today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to extract the AWR comparison report in the target database named Red Test one to make our performance analysis. There are a few more tasks or steps that we need to execute before we can extract the AWR reports. First, let's go to the target server. And I'm currently in the Oracle user's home directory, that is the home Oracle directory. Then we'll go to the rat rip directory, which is the location where we are keeping all our replay related files. And we'll make a copy of this rat test before replay.sh, this script and we'll make a copy and execute it as a after replay task. So first let's make a copy and make necessary changes. And all we are going to change here is the execution name. And instead of before replay, we will put here after replay. And we are keeping all the other parameters the same the task name that is the task 294 that we found out before the test execute is the execution type and we change the name and the execution parameters dbms advisor argument list will be disable multi execution true let's save it now we'll run this script in background using no hub Let's connect to the target database as sysdba and find out the status of the task currently getting executed using this SQL statement. Select task name, execution name, status, execution in from DB advisor executions where task name equal to task 294. And we see that the after replay that we just executed has also completed. So once the after analysis task is complete, we must run a comparison analysis task. I'll write another cell script to run a comparison analysis task using name value pairs in the execution parameters and run it in the background using no hub. So I'll go back to the Unix prompt again and I'll make another copy of our source script that is read test before we play a search as compare replay.sh and we'll make necessary changes in this compare replay sh so the first part where we are setting up the environment for our target database red test one and the other changes i am just going to copy paste here then i'll explain so within this begin end pair i'm putting the dbms sql pa that is the package for performance analysis and we are using the procedure called execute analysis task the task name is again task 294 and this time the execution type will be compare performance and execution parameters will be dbms advisor argument list the execution name one before replay and execution name two after replay so this comparison task will compare the before replay and after replay statistics Let's save it and we'll run it in background again. So no hub, compare replay sh and the log will be redirected to compare replay dot log. Now again, log into our SQL prompt and check the status of the job. 
using the SQL statement select task name execution name status execution in from DB advisor executions where task name equal to task 294 and we can see that the latest task with an execution name equal to execution 501 completed the name execution underscore 501 is taken because we did not explicitly define an execution name for the task once the compare task is completed we are ready to generate our AWR reports usually we generate three different types of AWR reports after the performance comparison is completed the first one is a replay report that gives us the replay related statistics the second one is a comparison report that is usually generated if you have multiple replays and you want to compare between any two different replays and the third one is a SQL performance analysis report and that is the most important report for us which gives us the improved regressed or unchanged SQL statements in this tutorial I will extract the third report for demonstration purpose however I have mentioned the code to extract the first and the second reports in the shared document in my Google Drive and the link for that can be found in the description of this video below now let's go back to our SQL prompt and extract the report let's connect to our target database as sysdba set the page size to 20,000 line 200 long 10 million long chunk size as 1 million then spool the output to a report in the HTML format with the name SPA cat DB rat test 1.html and I'll use this SQL statement to extract the report select dbms sql pa dot report analysis task task name task 294 type html section all from dual and the moment I hit enter it's going to run for some time because it's going to be a big report usually it takes like a minute or so and it started spooling the output and spool off so it has completed writing the report in HTML format now go back to our Unix prompt and we can see that this report SPA cat DB red test 1.html has been created now we need to transfer this to our local machine and once you open the report in a browser it will look something like this the top few sections will give us some information about the replay the execution the task and analysis information before change execution after change execution etc and the most important part is this summary section where we get the information about the impact of our change for example in our test case we upgraded our database from 18c to 19c so what is the impact of the SQL statements in this upgrade activity so we can see that the overall impact is 27% and it is green the improvement impact is 31% and regression impact is minus 4 it means there are some SQL statements which have improved in performance and some SQL statements which have regressed in performance and we can get more details about those SQL statements for example the overall SQL count is 82 and plan change count is 0 means there is no change in execution plan of the SQL statements and there are total 5 SQL statements which has improved in performance and there are 3 SQL statements which actually regressed or the performance has degraded and there are 44 SQL statements for which the performance has no change and there are 27 SQL statements or PL SQL blocks which are with errors and there are three unsupported these two last lines we can ignore for now and we can focus on the other areas so these are the SQL statements which have actually improved in performance so we don't have to worry about that and these last three lines in red are about the regressed SQL statements so if we click any one of those it's actually a hyperlink it will take you to the 
detailed section about that SQL statement. So here, this SQL statement was with this text and we have all the information about what was the before value and after value of certain parameters. For example, the elapsed time, parse time, CPU time, user IO time, etc, etc. And you can also compare the execution plan if there is any change. As we have found in the summary section already that there is no change in any of the SQL statements execution plans. So we will not be able to see any change in execution plans here. Let's go back to the top sections. Let's take the second SQL statement which actually regressed. Say this is the SQL statement from our test application user called app user and this was the SQL statement which has actually regressed and if you see there are very minor differences in the before value and after value for certain parameters and for example if you see the elapsed time it has a little bit increased here the parse time is good the CPU time is actually more and user IO time is actually less buffer gets actually increased cost is unchanged reads decreased writes no change and IO interconnect bytes it is actually reduced but the overall impact is this SQL statement has regressed in performance and now it's up to you how seriously you take about fixing that regressed SQL statement if it's a regular SQL statement that runs a few thousand times or few hundred times every day, then probably you should pay more attention in fixing it. But if it's an ad hoc SQL statement, probably you don't have to pay much attention and you can simply ignore the regression here. For the important SQL statements that comes from the application and the performance is really critical, you have to analyze the before and after value for certain parameters and you have to find out what might have caused that. For example, you may have to increase the memory footprint or certain server resources like CPU or memory or you may have to adjust certain init parameters of the database and once you are done resolving the issue, run the replay again and extract the reports. This time you can also extract the compare period reports between the first and the second replay. And if you want to repeat the whole replay again, then simply flashback the database to the granted restore point that we created before and perform the steps maintaining the sequence. So that's all on this topic. And I hope you'll be able to use this nice feature in Oracle in your future database environment changes like upgrades or migrates or hardware upgrades, etc. for a comparison of the before and after performance of the database and complete your change successfully. So viewers, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Please hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss an episode in this series for the Oracle DBS or similar educational videos that I am uploading every week.